Hi, this video shows how to create a WPF application with a data grid and a local database. So we start with WPF, go quite fast through that. We create a new database, a new project in WPF. Let's say this, that's WPF uh, demo test one uh, demo data grid and database. Now we have a window, that's the main window, and we add now here to our application um, new item. We go to data, then we say create a small database that's a local database as a uh, SQL Server database connected to this application, DB my app, DB test. Yeah, mm. database, 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 DB grid. Let's say grid test. Okay. And now we say add. Now the database will be added here. Here, that's it. Now we do a trick, we double click on it. And so the, to, our, to the server explorer, the database, uh, database grid test is uh, added now. We go there and add a new table. Now automatically there is a table designer in here and we say let's here give a title uh, in varcal it means a string by 50 or 150 for example and some text and that's a long text and I'll do a trick here on the ID this is a default ID it's an integer number but you also have to go there to the properties and say there, um, I drop it in there. Um, also you go there and say here to the identity specification ID, double click on there. So it's an identity increment. So it's automatically incrementing. So this is also sometimes quite good. Now. Where is it? Down. So th this is here. Now we have this uh, this database, and we say the database here is a table. There's the table name inside here. So we say this is table table how, grid test grid test for example. Now we say uh, update database. That's on here. And now the script is created, but we say simply take all that stuff into that database. And by this we have now, when we click on there, double click, refresh, we have now this database and we see this data, data there. Here it is, here they are. Let's take them here. And uh, now you see that's my first line. First title and some text, some text. When we go there, there's automatically an ID. And then we say second, second and some. So we have auto increment there. And now the database in here, this one is, uh, will be written as a, let's say as a template for example. So we don't need the properties here anymore. We take them away. Now we have that stuff and now we go to the next trick. The next uh, we need here in our window and that's the for default the first window. Now we don't need it. No quit. Click them there. So we need here in our toolbox. There is here a data grid. We drop it in here. Now we have here the data 
uh, a data grid, which is a simple table. And now we go to uh, data sources. The data source, we go into the data source. Then we say create a new data source, go to my database. That's my database and give me a data set from there. That's one way how you, how you may do it. It says, okay, database grid MDF. That's my database, which we have seen. That's the, on the local file and in the, in the root folder. Uh, and it's with local local security. This means we are entering the database by our Windows account. Now we say, okay, this is my database grid test connection string. Let's say this is the DB connection string. That's enough. Now we say we need all tables. That's my data set. I will say here data set. Let's take it how it is. Normally you give here a, a, a good name for this one. This is data set, data set. Let's leave it there. It's like a model. And now you have here the data sources and you may take now oh, this. We have to first to, uh, compile it. And then uh, now I should be able to drop it in here. Yes, that's it. So uh, when I start my application now, both record sets are loaded and now I'm able to say, okay, this is my third, third one. And you see there's minus one at the starting point <coughs> and start it, start something like this. And now when I type enter, the next line will come on there. So this was the example how easy it is to create a database and a data bound um, um, a data grid. And now also have a small look on the main window here. That's when we are here. We go here to our to the code. Surfer Explorer. That's the. Um, not the server solution explorer. It's a way I dropped off my s solution explorer. Here it comes. Now we are here back in our main window, and in there there's the code. Uh, it's in there, and the code is which says, okay, here that's my main window, and when this window is uh, initialized itself so that's the first step and then it's when it's loaded then it loads the data grid and now in here you find the code how to load a database from a local from your local source